Hello, my name is Koshik Patra, and I am your instructor for this course, CS147, Computer Architecture Study. Uh, here are some details about myself. Now time for a little more details. Um, my office location, uh, it's online through the Zoom meeting. Please find the Zoom meeting instruction for the office hours in your Canvas page. Uh, this telephone number, uh, just don't call me uh, on this number because this is in the campus. I don't have access to that phone, so you won't be able to reach me through that number. Uh, definitely you can reach me through my email address though. Please take a note, kaushik.pastra at sjsu.edu. You can email me here or through the canvas, either way is fine. Uh, if you want to know more about me, my professional career and etc., you can uh, look, visit my LinkedIn page. You can search me there, look at that. In a very summary, very nutshell, I am an SJSU alumni from Computer Engineering Department. I have 20 actually more than 20 years of electronic design automation industry experience, currently working for Siemens Dig Digital Industry Software Division. Uh, in past, I have worked for companies like Texas Instrument, Neomagic, Sun Microsystem, Oracle, Synopsys, Metrographics. Probably some of them you are familiar, you know those names, some of you don't know, doesn't matter. Just a quick introduction on this electronic design automation. Possibly most of you don't know what this industry is. Uh, this is an industry which builds software, very complex software, for the chip designer. So nowadays if you see the devices you are using like your laptops or your cell phone or your gaming system, anything has a very complex chip inside it like integrated circuit what we call and chip designer uh, who used to design and implement them on piece of silicon uh, they don't do it manually it it is not possible because these are containing like billion of devices okay uh, so there are supporting softwares which basically used by this chip designer to design these chips, build this chip, implement this chip on piece of silicon, and that softwares, those group of softwares, that specific industry which builds those softwares is called electronic design automation industry. There are only few players there in that area, like Synopsys, Cadence, now uh, Mentographics, now acquired by Siemens Digital Industry Software Division, those are the key three player, big player there in that market. Uh, and this specific industry, since it actually building very complex software, which handles like billions of nodes, if you want to think in terms of graph analysis, graph algorithms, etc. It handles, it's complex software, handles billions of nodes. Uh, it needs very advanced algorithms from computer science area. But also since this algorithm is basically targeted towards uh, chip building, chip designing, uh, person who works in this, in this area needs also knowledge on the hardware, electronics, electrical side as well. Uh, so this is a very interesting field and if you, are, if you feel comfortable uh, to uh, put your step both in computer science world and electronics world, it is very interesting industry to come in and work for. Just think yourself if you are uh, actually fit, if you're interested in this in this area, you can contact me um, uh, for further steps into this industry. Now I will um, show you like two famous quotation or you may know it, may, they may not know it, but it's. I like those uh, two quotations very much. And uh, those quotations are very useful in during a learning process. The very first one of the quotation is this from an ancient Chinese philosopher named Confucius. 
Once I said, I hear, I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. So you see, this is very much practical thought. Uh, if we hear something, then we tend to very much forget it. You hear it and maybe you remember it for a day or two. Then if you see something and then you remember, maybe throughout the semester, I don't know. It depends on uh, your, like our individual capability to remember things. But I do, I understand that any courses that you go through is to understand some concept. So it is obvious that we need to do something to in order to understand. We will follow this philosophy throughout this course. We'll have hands-on experience on building real microprocessor. And through that, we'll understand how a microprocessor works. That's our motto. So practical work and labs are very important along with the theory study. Theory study is more like an IC, I remember kind of stuff, but I do like the doing the project, going through the quizzes, solving problems, practice problem set. When you do that yourself, you will understand more and more of, of the core of the subject. The next quotation I like from uh, Harry Potter's book from a fictional character Albus Dumbledore. Uh, he said once, help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. I change this a little bit and say help will always be given at class to those who ask for it. Uh, what does it mean? <clears throat> as, as you find, this course is very challenging, hard. But I won't spoon feed you. It is your duty, your responsibility that you grasp the scores, read through, watch the videos, etc., etc. And definitely you'll have many, many questions arise from those. Many things may not be clear right up front. So unless you ask me for an explanation or ask my help for your, your project works, maybe some debugging tips here and there. I won't coming to you and tell, hey, uh, do this, do that. It's your turn that you come to me and ask question, okay? And that way you will learn more, okay? So this is not only for this class, just remember this for any learning. Until and unless you ask, you won't learn. <clears throat> In philosophically, what I believe, one doesn't have question in two scenarios. So you don't have a question in two scenarios. First scenario that you understood everything. That's why you don't have a question. Next scenario is you didn't understand anything. You didn't understand at all. That's why you don't know what to ask for, right? Since the first scenario, I won't, I, I won't uh, foresee that uh, once you start uh, studying a new, new things, it's applicable to me as well when I study a new things. It is not that I understand everything, right? How do I understand? I understand something, then I have some question and query doubts comes up. I ask the relevant person, go to the relevant person and ask and that's how we clear the concept. It would be same for you. You won't understand many things right from the beginning, right from the lecture notes, right from the lecture videos. And there would be some doubts, some clarification need to be done. So you need to come to me and ask your question. That's the only way you'll be successful in this class. Now let me show you uh, how to start this course, how to start the study on this course. Uh, your homepage would be similar to this, a little bit different because this is uh, my teacher's view. You will have a little bit different view on this uh, side uh, link uh, perspective. Uh, this part doesn't matter. 
uh, but you'll you'll end up in the very fast introduction page of the computer architecture study. Uh, we'll go through this page uh, first. There is some some information you'll see uh, important, and there are uh, links to the modules, and there are some uh, videos. These are like optional. Maybe before start of the semester, if you have time, uh, please watch them. They are very interesting. Or at the end of the semester, you, you watch it. Or I would say watch once before the semester and watch after the semester is done. Then you'll actually uh, see there are many concepts that you can link through uh, these very uh, different uh, videos that explains how a pile of sand become a big data center and what the data center looks like, what are the server looks like, how they are built, and so on and so forth. So this is very interesting. This is very relevant videos uh, that will connect your theoretical studies into what goes into practical world. But anyway, let's come back to uh, what we need to do to start the study with. So study this page, uh, optional videos, No, don't mind about that if you don't have time. Then you go to this page, everything you need to know about this course. So you will land in something like this. So the very first one is the video that you are watching now. Okay, So uh, you, you watch this video, there are four more videos about talking about logistics, protocols, navigations, challenges of the course. So please go through them. Uh, and then, um, then what uh, the other information it has, it you'll also get it from these videos, those information, but these are given here in handy uh, for an easy access, like a timing of the class, link to the Zoom, um, prerequisites about the textbooks. Uh, the important things is the activities. Now, if you are a registered student prior to start of this class, you, you should receive like three emails from me. Okay, uh, one from the my SJSU system, one from the canvas, and last one from the Qualtrics. So this one is a little bit tricky. This may end up in your spam folder. So please check that if you haven't received it. Make sure you received, you have received this three email. Uh, otherwise, let me know. First, check your spam folder, and then let me know that you haven't received it. Uh, because these otherwise we need to see why email communication is not going to you like I would either communicate through my SJSU system some most of the times I will communicate through the canvas and sometimes I'll communicate through the Qualtrics so this is very important that you make sure you receive this free email next one is review the syllabus so if you go to this link, you'll end up some page like this. So this is your uh, uh, basically your uh, green sheet page, you can need to review this. Uh, and then there is basically the calendars for the entire course, the all the assignment quizzes to do's are all given there. So please, please review it. Uh, next one is uh, would be this one. Mm, let me go to the home go to here yeah now there are three activities which actually will earn you like 10 extra bonus point per task at the end of the semester okay one is complete the prerequisite survey uh, survey this is very important because if you don't complete it uh, either you will be dropped from the class or uh, if you are a, a student who is asking for the ad code for the lead addition uh, you won't get any ad code so this is very important. Uh, make sure you complete this one. And there is one more, one uh, other thing called practice quiz. So this is like we'll take uh, Canvas quizzes throughout the semester. Exams are also through the Canvas quiz. So it needs some special setup with the webcam, with the uh, special browser needs. So please make sure that you complete that before we start the actual quizzes. So this is important that your environment is set up. So this is the 
uh, one thing you need to do, you need to complete. And then third one is an introductory discussion, uh, which basically, uh, I, I'll go there and I'll show you what is that. Uh, so let me just give first you the give you this prerequisite survey. If you do the link, by the way, this is not uh, okay. This is a teacher's view. Let me go to the preview of this. Um, so you'll see a video there. It basically tells you that uh, how to uh, create the unofficial transcript into one PDF document that you need to. You need to uh, submit in the Qualtrics survey that I mentioned. And there is only one question there that I have received and completed the prerequisite survey, which probably your answer is true, and submit the quiz. Uh, complete that. But main thing is that you go back to your email, look for that email from the Qualtrics system, and complete that survey. Okay, so first, review the video how to create the unofficial transcript if you don't know how to combine them into the one PDF file uh, to upload that and then uh, complete the survey. Next one would be uh, this one, uh, practice quiz, right? So if you go there, you'll see this is needs, uh, um, this talks a lot about, let me just preview this. So this is like, Instruction about the quiz, lockdown browser, webcam requirement. It has a lot of links there, a couple of links. You need to go and study. If you have are not done already uh, with some previous courses, you need to set this up for yourself and then take the quiz. There are very easy questions. They are basically the question from the green sheet. Like if you please study the green sheet first and come back here to take the question. Okay. Um, you have like I think 10 attempts so if you don't get full marks first time then go and attempt one more one more etc but make sure that your environment is set up so uh, that's the the other question there uh, other activity and last one last but not the least definitely is the introductory discussion so what is this discussion this is um, this is our objective there, getting to know each other. This is an online course, so I would like to know you, your peers like to know you, uh, become fami familiar with the Canvas discussion tool and become familiar with the netiquette, like it's the etiquette over the net. So please go through that documentation and uh, see that what the netiquette mean. So activities is that, so what you need to do, you need to reply and tell couple of uh, things like these four things about you select two words that describe yourself then second one is ideal way for technical study and then uh, your course outcome what's your aspiration what's your hopes and last one anticipated difficulties in this course so this fourth thing i'd like to know from you um, so please reply and once you reply to you, then you will be able to see response from the other st other student and other peers, and then you can engage with them with the discussions or things like that, or at least you can browse through and see what other students are thinking about about uh, these four points. So that's all uh, on this introductory page. So make sure you review the syllabus and then complete these three bonus point activities. At this point, I welcome you to Computer Architecture Study, CS 147 of San Jose State University. Please review the other videos, other four videos, and complete the activities at the end of this page.